Mason and I were coming back from a trip and we ended up getting delayed in Calgary. Mark was actually in town. Just our luck, he was here at the same time and came and picked us up. Hey guys, Hi. how are you? Good. good to see Hi. you. Perfect timing, uh, I was around so I went and picked him up. So what should we do in Calgary? Uh, I was actually on my way to uh, COP to check out some uh, bobsledding. You know what, this might be a good opportunity to shoot some bobsledding, you know, like, you know, there's a lot, a lot of things beyond skiing and biking. And that's part about being a photographer, being professionals, you can't go out and shoot with your bros all the time. The assignments aren't always going to be what you want. Maybe we'll give it a try, like, it's new, it's different. Yeah. You know what the heck, why not? Try something new. Well, I mean, it can't be the easiest thing to shoot, so maybe go check it out and and yeah. practice first and see what we can come up with. And, you know. Yeah, it's not it's not easy to shoot for sure. It'd be great to check out the kind of photos that pros shoot and compare them to what you're shooting. What I want to see out of Mason is what you see in the magazines or if press agencies. Uh, he's got to shoot at that level. Okay, I'm gonna drop you guys off here. Cool. Justin's over there waiting for you. Okay. So go say hi to Justin. Sweet. Sweet. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, I'll see you later. Thanks a lot. Hey, look, we can go put our faces and take <laughs> photos. So Mark, he wanted me to try something new and sort of step outside of my comfort zone, and that being bobsledding. I was excited to learn more about it, but it's definitely nothing that I've ever experienced. So yeah, shooting in the dark, I guess. You know, to get a shot that's up to industry standards, it's definitely a challenge. I think it's a great opportunity. He's here, there's an event going on. Why not shoot it? It's a challenging thing to shoot. So uh, let's see if, if he can do it. Uh, Justin Cripps is the driver on the Canadian bobsled team. And he's definitely a guy to watch for Olympic years. He's doing two man and four man. Hey, how's it going? Hey, I'm Mason. Nice to meet you. Yeah, Hello. nice to meet you. Gracie. Gracie, I'm Justin, nice Justin? to meet you. Well, yeah, I was hoping maybe we could talk about the track for a little bit. Yeah, for sure, I'll start from the top. Um, you have the push start, and everybody just gets jacked up and, and pushes the sled as hard as possible. <laughs> and for me, when I get in, I have to kind of switch from being in like beast mode, pushing the sled, to just like relaxing, chilling out, and like just getting ready to, to have the flow with the steering. And Because if you're too jacked up still from pushing, you just, rip on the things and, and hit walls and stuff and you don't get any speed. You just, you have to be completely clean through the top. You come into the Omega section, which is uh, corners six, seven, eight, and the last corner of the Omega, number eight, drops you into a straightaway coming into the Kreisel, which is German for circle. It's a big 270 degree corner. Yeah, Kreisel would be a great place for you guys to get a shot because it's the one place in the track where you're, you have that kind of height in a corner for, you know, two, three seconds as opposed to less than a second in a lot of the other corners. So I could follow you around the whole corner potentially as well. Yeah, you could, you could follow it around. You could get like a, a straight on shot. You could even see like my eyes when I'm coming through, maybe if you're really quick. <laughs> so you get a cool shot there too. Yeah, so that gives you a pretty good idea of the track. And now like, I'm about to train, so I'm gonna go walk the track and, and go over my line. So you guys can come with me if you want to yeah. check it out. Yeah, about some angles. All right, let's go. All right, let's do it. So I hear you're from Hawaii. Yeah, born in Hawaii. <laughs> Lived uh, back and forth Canada and Hawaii until I was like 15. Justin's a really interesting character. So you surf then? Yeah, I grew up surfing a bit, bodyboarding. Um, yeah, on the big island. It's tons of fun back in the day. Just learning about his journey and how someone goes through that was really interesting. I was going to school in Canada and I, I got 
offered a, a tryout on the bobsleigh team. The corners are like frozen waves and you just glide down them. It, it's kind of it's similar to surfing. Have you had a chance to experience the Olympics yet? Yeah, I went to um, Vancouver 2010. All right on. Yeah, I went as a brakeman and now I'm driving, so it's different, but it, it was an amazing experience. You can tell that he really loves what he does. Yeah, the driving aspect is so mental. When you jump in the side, you have to be calm and focused. As a driver, it's all about being steady every moment, just being 100% present. Hey, hey guys, how'd it go? Yeah, good. 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 Yeah, Justin treating you right. Oh, yeah. Good to see you again. Cheers. Yeah, see you. yeah so I showed cool these guys man. the track, and it's up to you guys to get some shots now, I think. All right, this is the start track. Let's go check it out. I'll leave it to you guys. I'm going to go get ready. Right on, man. Good. All right, I'll see yeah, you in a Yeah, good luck out there. So this is the start point here, where they sprint and jump into the bobsled. Canada, yeah! Yeah, Canada! It's, I think it's a great spot to shoot, because you get the action of the running, feet flying, and facial expressions. I don't know, it's definitely yeah. not like anything I've shot. Oh, uh, it's a challenge. Yeah, I mean, it's so cluttered in here. And Nothing's really standing out. You know, I can't step onto the ice. The officials won't let me. And I can't get right in there with them, you know, and they're about to start. So, because I see a photo that I might want to take, but I can't go take it. I think he has to get his head into it and shooting something that he might not be into, you know? Some things I recommend, you know, in here is so busy with so many things going on is shoot super tight, you know, and get shots of the feet or the hands or the facial expressions. and. You know, maybe get creative with some blur shots, you know? What do you mean that by blur? A blur is where you use a slow shutter speed and you pan with the action, getting the action sharp and blurring the background. Well, it's a way of reducing clutter. Right. Yeah, and that helps focus on the sport, about the, the, about the person and about the, the equipment they're using. And the speed. And the speed. And location, you know, it's really important on a track like this to find the right spot, you know, it's such a controlled environment, so find the best location. It's a completely man-made environment, which is, you know, one of the furthest things away from a lot of the photography that I shoot. You know, a lot of the stuff that I do is incorporating the natural aesthetics and the beauty and, and natural lighting. All right, let's move down the track and look at some locations. Okay. And all of those things I'm not finding. Here they come. Oh, crap. Did you get it? shoot her tighter and get more blur out of it. I'm shooting bobsledding is standing around in the cold. That's what it is. And waited for a tenth of a second moment to happen. And then I missed it. Like five times. She misses the shot. It'd be sweet if they were like way up high. They are. They're, they're probably pretty high like right there. Where the tarps are. Yeah. The tarps were a pretty big issue for me. I know that the best moment is behind the tarps over there. It left me with very limited windows to get good action shots where the sleds are really high on the wall. I'm working with this corner and by the time they get there they're already down and it's really hard to get a good speed match in you know 20 feet of track because they're going 120 k's an hour. It's really difficult. Maybe one of these days I'll get a shot. I, I know, know you like shooting the environment all the time, but I don't know if this is like one of those environment sports. I like pushing Mason, you know, because I see a little bit of that in myself when I got into a comfort zone shooting things. You get comfortable, you do the same routine. You're not going to get anywhere doing that. You need to get out there and shoot things that you're not into. If you had like a crowd, you know, then you could shoot. Just through the crowd, you know, like, Olympic crowd. crowd the yeah. actions. There isn't really anyone here. Yeah, so I'll just look so stoked. There it is. You just got. Damn, dude. This is what I do. That's what it is. They're all kind of B grade. How'd it go, guys? Not great. Well, you just got here. It's your first day. Yeah. You know, I've seen a couple of your photos. You're on the right track. 
the best parts of the track are covered in tarps. I think Mason was really challenged with so many limitations of where he could shoot. Tomorrow's uh, actual race. You've taken it this far, you might as well take it to the end here and get something that you can publish. And Gracie's here with you, you know, you guys are here together, you might as well put her to work and, yeah. you know, maybe double angle, give her a camera. Yeah. I guess I'm trying to lead Mason into some things and it feels like Mason should be playing that same role with Gracie. Well, I gotta go. I think Mason could work on his uh, leadership skills a little bit. Send me the photos. I wanna check them out. We'll talk about them. Okay, sounds right. good. See ya. Thanks, we'll Mark. Get some good ones. Talk to you soon. You know, I'm interested in the sport, like, I, in all the, you know, little details that go into being, you know, an Olympic caliber athlete. Hello, hey, Justin. How's it going? It's not every day that you get to meet Olympic athletes, so it was pretty cool to hear the insight from the inside. So, how much time do you guys put into training, like prior to competition? We start training every year in April, so it's 10, 11 months of training. Most of the year of training. Yeah, up till this point for this year, all of us as a team have put in 1,100 hours in the gym. That's all for like to get a couple hundreds at the start on your start time just to go a little bit faster, you know? He's very inspiring. The way that he goes about his sport, his sport is his life. Can you bench Gracie? Yeah, you probably bench Gracie and her whole family. <laughs> <laughs> 12 months a year, he's focusing on it. Everything from working out, to the way he eats, to the way that he runs his life and discipline. So what's a uh, race day looking like? Are you guys usually a little bit conservative or is it just like all out? No, just cash or crash the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say cash or crash? Yeah. I like that attitude. Yeah. That's awesome. Cash or crash. That's a huge statement. It's full in, like every race, they give it their all. They love it so much that the consequences are worth it to to be doing what he does, and I think that's really admirable. You know, I see some parallels to my photography career in that, you know, you have to dedicate and, and focus your life on it. We'll see you at the finish line. All right, yeah, let's All see right, you should we there. get a chant? Yeah, yeah well. team chant. Yeah. To be the best, you have to focus so much energy and time and effort. Peace Woo! All right, we'll see you guys later. All right, see you out there. Where are we going to stay tonight? Oh, I got a buddy. You're gonna love this guy. So I know this crazy guy, Alex. And he's gonna put us up at his house, save us a couple bucks while we're here. Yo! Hey, what's, what's up? up? Like, we got laid over, and that wasn't part of our plan. But luckily, Mason knew someone here, and luckily, Alex was available to, like, let us stay at his place. That's awesome. This is Gracie, by the way. Oh, how are you, gorgeous? I'm Alex. <laughs> Hi, Alex. Oh, make yourself at home, man. It's wonderful that Alex lets us stay here. Sleep tight. I'll, I'll dream of you. You'll dream of me. OK, good night. <laughs> Hey, Gracie. Ooh. Mark asked me to incorporate Gracie a little bit more, so I figured that, you know, why not set up both my cameras? So I've got this one set up on a wide angle, pretty fast shutter, so guaranteed that it'll be in focus and sharp. She could be looking through this one and following the action while I'm simultaneously triggering it from this camera. Ooh, I'm pretty close. Two cameras, one photographer, one assistant. I just got a Pick the frame. I don't want her to be concentrating on too many things at this point, especially with a sport like bobsledding, where the action is so fast. <laughs> the important thing here is to try and incorporate the, the lines. Okay. Because that's going to create form for this photograph. Utilizing the curvature of the turn, and then like this rail, the edge of the track, those are the, the most definitive lines. So having those exiting the corners of the frame, it's a really good technique because it'll draw your eye into the actions. And move the camera slightly to, to follow the action because oh. there is gonna be a sense of movement and you want that movement to be going with the athletes. So being able to follow the action and maintain the composition of your, your frame, 
that's a unique skill that you develop as an action sports photographer. I mean, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, totally. Okay. Let's do it. But this is good practice for her, you know? These are skills as a photographer that are important. Here they come. Holy crap. The first shot, I totally botched because I think I closed my eyes and went like this. Did you get it? Oh yeah, I got it. <laughs> the next one will be better. I think I closed my eyes. You don't even have to look, just hold the angle. It makes sense to use digital for this kind of action. Out of luck. Oh, the first one, it's too far away. So you're gonna have to make like little tweaks and adjusts in your in the way you hold the camera to sort of keep them there. All right. It was really helpful being able to look at my picture as soon as I took it. So every time the bobsled went by, Mason would come over and we'd discuss the two pictures. Oh, the focus is slightly off. It looks like it's too close. Mason was able to give me criticism right there on the spot. Adjust the focus. Everything beyond a meter is going to be in focus. Okay. And I think that's super important when you're just learning. All right, here comes Justin. Don't screw this up. I've been waiting my whole life for this. I missed mine. Let's see. So first one. Oh yeah, that's good. I mean, you're missing a little bit here, but right. it's sharp though. At least we, we have a second photo because if you look at mine, I'm trying to do a slow shutter and they're all slightly soft. Right. It was nice that my camera got the photo. But we got the shot on there. So effectively, yeah. this technique has been successful for us. This is a good start for her. I mean, there's a lot of room for improvement, and we can work towards that. My overall uh, feeling about the, the photo shoot is, did we actually give professional photos or not? Hello? Hello? Mark? Where are you? <laughs> Swing soon. You are so silly. We shot the race, and I sent you some shots. Did you get them? Yeah, I got them. Do you want to go through them a little bit? Yeah, sure. Yeah. The first photo that you sent me, it tells a story for sure, right? Because mm -hmm. it's Canada, there's an eye there. Um, I actually like it a lot. It's kind of cool. But the one there nice is. thing is that I kind of like is that the leading lines and the curvature of those leading lines sort of draw you in to the athlete. It's a beautiful composition, capturing the character and the emotion mm -hmm. and tension. Mm -hmm. That's, you know, that's a big thing for the, for the sport. Mm -hmm. Talking about emotion, I yeah. think that the next photo <laughs> kind of shows that. I love that shot. She looks so excited. And <laughs> so that, that shot tells a story about bobsled fans. How did you use Gracie as a photo assistant? Well, yeah, what I did was I set up my second camera on radio remotes. So that way we're at least getting a photo guaranteed. If you're gonna shoot for a client, this is probably the kind of photo they're looking for, right? Mm -hmm. It's not my favorite shot, but photo number six is the photo press shot. They would use that. Cool. Yeah. So that's the trick, is to be able to shoot for somebody, not for yourself. Yeah. Well, I think it was a relative success, but I still feel there's a lot of room for me to grow. feeling about the, the photo shoot is you shot something that you know nothing about and you did a great job. I think it was good that both of us got a new experience. 
We definitely had a lot of struggles being into it, but knowing that the opportunity to kind of expand our horizons is important. Gracie, I feel like she really needs to advance more as your assistant, advance in her own skills. I feel like there's still something there that she can offer. As an athlete, you're not always gonna be perfect. You're gonna have to crash. You're gonna have to fail in order to be better. Ooh. Where'd you guys end up? Uh, we came second in both of them. Oh, no way. Yeah, came from behind both times. <laughs> yeah. yeah, awesome. <laughs> With photography, it's the same thing. The more mistakes I make, the more chances I take, the more failures I have, well, I'm gonna learn from that. And that's how you move forward. Otherwise, you're just staying in the same place. Did we actually give professional photos or not? I think we did. I looked around and I saw photos and uh, I think what you took is there. I'm not entirely confident yeah. in these photos, but I'm glad that, you know, I've got your support. That's great. Justin Cripps, Randall. I really look up to athletes because it shows me what I can achieve in any aspect of my life, even with photography. It has to be about constantly kind of expanding your horizons. Yeah, it was good working with you guys. Yeah, for sure, man. Best of luck for the rest of the season. Thanks. It's been awesome hanging out with Justin, and he's a really good guy. It boils down to dedication. You have to dedicate yourself. That's something that I think that sort of parallels with what I'm doing in photography. I'm dedicated to photography. I, I thoroughly enjoy doing it. This is, this is my passion, and I'm following it.